you have our full support for this bill, and we will support this bill and make any contribution that we can to help this bill. As far as our continued efforts in support of this commission bill, we, the members of NIDA in Canada, have prepared a draft memorandum on the Nigerian Industrial Establishment Commission Bill of 2009 for your consideration for inclusion in your draft bill. And I will leave those uh, memorandum to you to look at it without uh, taking too much of the time. I would like to associate myself with the establishment of this commission. And having said that, let me just say that a whole lot of presentations made so far have not taken into cognizance of the bill developed by the committee. The specific item there are very, very clear as to the purpose of the commission. I must agree that this commission is very necessary and useful at this time. Having spent over 34 years in the USA and coming back here to uh, create some element of employment and infusion of skills in our university system, I do believe that the time has come for our colleagues who have the same dreams that I have and who wish to come back here and contribute that they should have a home, a place, a commission, a body that can coordinate, work with, and be able to make it easier for them to do what they need to do here than I have experienced in the past four or five years. So, in so doing, and following the discussions that we have had between my group and the committee, we have gone into study specifically the areas of interest in establishing this commission. Regarding the positioning of the Diaspora Commission, I believe that it is very, very important, like the um, Honorable uh, Chairman of um, House Committee on Diaspora Affairs has uh, emphasized and re-emphasized, that we've got to do away with bureaucracy. And so, Doing away with bureaucracy, I got a bit um, uh, worried when it became clear reading the, uh, the draft bill that the Diaspora Commission is planned to be positioned under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Um, we do have a problem with that. We believe that um, there are a few options other than the Ministry of uh, External Affairs and short of making the Diaspora Commission an independent uh, commission directly answerable to the, um, uh, to the presidency or something uh, to that effect. Um, we want to place very strong emphasis on the fact that the Diaspora Commission as envisaged should not be positioned under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, structures in place. They have failed us, really, uh, since uh, 2001. Uh, we've been following all these things. The Nero France was launched in 2001. I've been very, very active in Nero. So these structures in place, since 10 years, they have not done anything concrete. You understand? So coming now to tell us that they are there, it is not true. You see, Nido started having an orientation, a direction, when you have this committee on diaspora. You see what I mean? So. Uh, uh, we think that NIDO should have uh, uh, its own agency, independent, so that we know with whom to interact directly. All the projects we bring in here, you see, that's why most of us, we go to the state governments to interact with them, because we get, get our sense very easily. But the federal government is very, very difficult. I think to me, to be honest, it's very, very important, because apart from just being a diaspora commission, it will become a focal point for the diaspora. Now, if you're talking about international best practice, we then expect the commission to be able to do that. And for the diasporan people like us, 
it will now look like we don't have any excuses saying we do not want to engage Nigeria because now we have a center, we have an office, we have a complex, we have a commission. So with the commission, we expect the same service that we've been uh, receiving where we are in whatever part of the world. So I think it, it pays kind of a, the, the focus and the vision of the new leadership that is here, that is engaging the Nigerians in diaspora. To further highlight the importance of the bill, members of the diplomatic corps and international bodies were at hand to give their input. My government recently approved a project for capacity building for the newly formed diaspora ministries in Africa. And this capacity building program is initiated by the African Diaspora Policy Center for Migration Studies at the University of uh, Ghana and the Human Resource Development Center here in Lagos. And the objective of this program is to help enhance the knowledge and po policy capacity inside of the diaspora representatives in Africa dealing with these development related issues. This demand driven initiative sponsored by my government is an example of the key role we believe the, the diaspora can play in development. The main thing what we have to concentrate on our diaspora, wherever it is, we've got to keep the tradition, culture and the values of the country. Unless we do that, the diaspora will not be able to achieve its main objectives. That's the reason why in 19, though we started this uh, welfare schemes, from the 1980 onwards, at the, in the year 2004, we started a separate ministry, a very dynamic young ministry, in, which is connected to the Foreign Office initially. Later on, my Prime Minister selected the most dynamic diplomats, about half a dozen of them, to man this ministry. And then he sent out these half a dozen diplomats to various countries to interact with the Indian diaspora, which is 25 million. It's a large number. It's almost twice the uh, size of a Nigerian uh, diaspora. And in this way, we are very proud to say that today in the NASA, 35% engineers are Indians. 35% of the doctors in India, in US, are Indians. And also, 25% of all laborers in Saudi Arabia are Indians. And you will find in every category of of Indians, we encourage from the laborer to the top man to go abroad. 